What's new in Colt OS version 6.1 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you what is new in Colt OS version 6.1 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. In case you're looking for the top features of Colt OS for the Poco F1, I do have a separate video for that which can be found in the description of the video and in the pinned comment as well. So in version 6.1 right off the bat you will notice that the security patch has been updated to June of 5th 2020. The kernel is Delta and the build date is from June of 10th 2020. Next up if we go into settings and then go into system and you have the option of cold enigma updates which means you should now be able to get notifications of new cold os builds for the poco f1 on your phone directly next up they have added long screenshot from asus so if we take a screenshot this is how the ui looks like tap on long screenshot it is going to scroll down tap on it one more time it is going to scroll and then tap on it one more time it's going to scroll again and there it is that is how the long screenshot feature from asus looks like next up we can address the elephant in the room ir face unlock has been added to cold os 6.1 go into settings security make sure you have a pin setup tap on face unlock enter the pin once you've entered the pin tap on the next button and it is ir face unlock and it works absolutely fine next up the fps overlay has been fixed so once you have added the quick setting tile for fps info just tap on it and you will have the fps on the top left of your screen then they have decided that the phonograph application is going to be the new default music app for cold os let us now have a look at the new features in cold enigma so we'll go into cold enigma and then if you go into lock screen and then tap on lock screen display you have a new option which says lock screen notification count once you enable this toggle the slider at the bottom also gets enabled and now you can choose how many max notifications you want on the lock screen the maximum number is six and the minimum of course is one and if you turn it off the option gets disabled going back we can go into system and then if you go into animations you have new animations for how your power menu appears so if i press and hold the power button this is how it shows up right now and it is set to aosp default let us change it to say rotate and bam here it is rotate effect for the power menu and in case you are wondering that the power menu is you know translucent well they have added options for that as well and that customization you can find in buttons and then you can go into power menu bam here it is you can for starters enable the background filter so while this is disabled this is how the power menu looks like you can see that everything in the background is clearly visible let us enable this filter and the filter type right now is blur there it is you can see that the background is now blurred out you can change it to these different options which you have let us try the accent tinted which is going to make the background the color of my accent which is blue and bam there it is you can see that it is now blue next up you can also configure the power or reboot menu opacity or transparency so here it is that is the maximum and that is how the power menu now looks like and if i reduce it down to say zero i press and hold and i did have a small vibration which indicates that the power menu was displayed but because i have set the opacity as zero it is not showing up let us try changing this and bam there it is power menu in the building then you can also decide how much dimming of the background you want when you enable the power menu right now it is set to zero let us use the slider set it to 46 and bam there it is you can see that the background was actually dimmed and if i increase this all the way to 100 there it is you can see it got more dimmer so this is another new feature which they have added in cold os 6.1 and while we are in the buttons option if you go into gestures and then you can go into aosp gestures you have adaptive playback in the building now once you enable this option 
and you have some music playing right as soon as you reduce the volume to zero the music is going to pause and whatever timeout you have chosen over here if within that time period you increase the volume the music is going to continue from wherever it was paused at next up if you go into system and then tap on notifications go into heads up you have the option of timeout here you can choose the duration for which you want the peaking notifications to show then you have the option of snooze timer once you tap on it you can select a duration and swiping up on the peaking notifications is going to snooze heads up from that specific application for whatever time you choose over here and the last option which they have added is again in system and miscellaneous you have a toggle to enable or disable the charging animation when the device is plugged in so there it is peeps those are the new features which are added with colt os 6.1 running on the poco f1 as for the animations and gestures they are still the same which is better smooth and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you